Hello humans, uh, how are you? Welcome to my world of stuff. My name is Paul Mount, as you may or may not know. Um, just a quick video tonight because I just realised uh, earlier today that it's a week since I posted anything on my channel. Uh, I'm sure you're not all sitting home anxiously refreshing your YouTube channel, uh, your YouTube uh, link to see if there's anything new from me, but um, there is stuff on the way. I just haven't had a chance to do anything this week. It's quite busy at the moment. Um, I'm currently in the middle of a... Um, I sort of work on my garage which I'm converting into a, well I'm not doing it I'm getting people in to do it I know my limitations I'm, 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 I'm having that converted into a gym stroke cinema room and that's uh, nearly done but it's been a bit sort of chaotic around the house it's not been very quiet and I have another chance to sort of sit and record my thoughts I do have a couple of new retro film reviews which I'm going to be doing shortly, um, including one that was requested by uh, Mr Gibbons. Hello Mr Gibbons, I hope you're still there. Thank you for your suggestion. Uh, the retro reviews are, uh, I think there's only one posted so far, um, which are just a look back at old classic films, um, some old favourites, some you might not know of, some you might have forgotten, some I might have forgotten and just dug out of my collection. So if there's any films that you'd like me to take a look at to do a short review of leave a comment down below as they say and also while i'm here if you like uh, this sort of content which is um bloke with a scruffy beard rambling about films and stuff then why not here's a thought why not like and subscribe press that subscribe button you can like it as well which would be very nice and then you can look back at all the other videos that i've done various uh reviews and out and abouts and uh, unboxings and hauls and all, all that sort of stuff that the youngsters do. So yes, um, so I haven't been around uh, able to do very much, but there will be hopefully stuff coming in the next week or so uh, when things get a bit quieter. I'm also waiting on the delivery of a new uh, 4K camera. Now the camera I've got is an HD camera, but I don't believe it's 4K. Um, so I'm hoping that that's, it's on its way and when that turns up I shall be experimenting and hopefully having sharper quality uh, images on my vids which hopefully will make a bit of a difference. Um, plus there's other things sort of going on at the moment that I've got to sort of at some point um, work out uh, my itinerary for how I sort of do things because I've got a fairly big writing project which is sort of waiting to be um, tackled which I need to sort of get on with so there's a lot of stuff going on so I haven't had time to sort of sit and chat to you guys as much as I would like to so that's where I am at the moment incidentally hope you like the old beard um, it is coming on rather well um, this is something you might recall from a couple of videos ago I do a bit of work as an extra stroke actor and um, I've got a booking for um, crime reconstruction thing I was chatting about it uh, early this week to the person who books me uh, it's going to be the first week in August and I'm going to be taking part in this thing um, as a murder victim and then shaving off this beard and hopefully playing somebody else. So um, I'm currently desperate, well, not hurriedly, you can only grow a beard at the rate it will grow. But this uh, beard is sort of on its way because the person who I'm playing um, has a beard of this nature. And also, since we last spoke, I've also got a booking for something next Tuesday, which is... Uh, uh, one of a group of 20 in a post-apocalyptic thing, which I'm quite interested and quite excited by because I love me a post-apocalyptic story. I don't know what it is, but um, I've had to dig up my scruffiest clothes, which pretty much clothes I wear most days, um, to look ragged and um, dilapidated for this film on Tuesday afternoon. So it's been quite fun. So there's, a couple, there's lots of stuff going on, which has kept me away from you all. Uh, but I've also bought a couple of things because I know that... Uh, you do like to see the new Blu-rays and DVDs that people buy, and I am a physical media collector. And it's one of the things that I've done on, since I've been watching more YouTube is looking at the blue tubers, as they're called, the people who go out on their Blu-ray hunts. And I think they're great, they're very entertaining, but they do tend to buy a lot of stuff. They buy things willy-nilly, whether they've heard of them or not. Uh, just new releases, they sort of pounce on them, and they, they've got to have them. I'm a bit more circumspect, and I just buy the things I like. Uh, because space is the premium after all and you know I don't really want to be spending money on something that I don't really know much about uh, so anyway I've got two pickups so it's not a massive haul this week but just two that I've picked now these two I picked up uh, it's, uh, these deals and things come along at the strangest times uh, we had the Euro finals last Sunday and I'm not a football fan and I wasn't particularly watching it but in the second half 
I think England were one one nil up, and I was sort of intrigued to see if football was coming home. Even though I'm not a football fan, so I had the TV on in the background, and I was sort of half looking and half faffing about on my phone. And I think it was in half time, uh, Zavi dot com suddenly came up with a deal twelve percent off anything online if you order within the next hour. And I do like a deal, so I looked online, uh, Blu-rays, 4Ks, and so on. And there were some which had already come down to sort of sixteen ninety nine, seventeen ninety nine, with another twelve percent off. It was like fourteen pounds something. So I thought, well, that's not bad. So I splashed out on two titles, and here's the first, and the Invisible Man. Incredible how you can see right through me. It's a bit of a Queen classic there. Uh, this is the Invisible Man. This is the twenty twenty film starring. Elizabeth Moss, who is one of my favourite actresses at the moment. I think she's a really compelling performer. Uh, she has a very particular look about her. Um, she doesn't look like a sort of a Hollywood starlet. She looks like a proper... Um, how can I put this in a non-sexist way? Sort of China doll quality about her. I think she's an entrancing actress. And I've seen her in lots of things. And she's, she's such a powerful performer. This was such a good film. Um, a sort of a revisitation of the ideas of H.G. Wells's his book, of course, from a modern, uh, I suppose, Me Too perspective of this woman who flees her abusive relationship, um, thinks that her husband is dead, but he isn't dead, he's still around, but um, she can't quite see him the way she used to. Uh, yeah, this is actually the, blue, uh, the steel book edition, by the way. I've already got the Blu-ray, I believe. I picked that up in a sale a while ago. And um, I do like the cover of this steel book. It's got that sort of um, slightly Hitchcockian image of a shadowy figure in a doorway. And um, it's a nice solid Blu-ray with your, your usual uh, J card. And the disc has got a nice image on the back of Elizabeth Moss's character cowering in fear. And inside you get... Um, the 4K disc itself... So I'm, I'm, you're not very good at showing these things to the camera and the blu-ray and in the background of course you've got a nice piece of imagery from the film so i was quite pleased to get that and i you know i do like steelbooks but i'm not sort of obsessive about them and when you see them online for the right price you sort of think yeah i'll have that one and it was as i say that was in the 12 percent off promotion during the um, euro final last week the other one i picked up um can't remember this was about 12 quid maybe in the same promotion on halt in the original and let's face it only predator movie the original predator from i'm thinking 87 yeah 87 um yeah the 4k ultra blu-ray with the inevitable uh dvd i've got it on uh on DVD actually, the sort of special edition two disc DVD and I've watched it for years so it's going to be nice to see this one in 4K again it comes in a very nice slip cover which in the way of most slip covers is repeated on the actual cover of the disc I do sort of wonder when studios are going, suddenly going to think why we're we wasting money doing slip covers um, especially in times of sort of falling sales of physical media but maybe you know the addition of a slip cover is attractive and it seems to be attractive to a lot of collectors and i must admit it is nice to have that sort of extra presentation on a disc um so there we are predator on 4k on the back you've got all the contents and the details i was quite surprised to find it's a sort of shortish film 107 minutes which is sort of short by modern bloated blockbuster standards inside nothing special about the inside um just plain uh 4k disc and the standard sort of Blu-ray in blue, no artwork or anything special, sort of fairly simplistic presentation, but it was a decent price, just over 14 quid, and it is one of these sort of um, classic army films, and it's a nice one to have on 4K. So yeah, only these two um, additions to the collection this week, so pretty quiet, um, just haven't been out of the boat really, um, looking for much, as I say, with so much building work and distraction going on and not been able to so i just wanted to come on to say hello to display my new goodies and to say i will be back hopefully very very soon with, with some more reviews and content thank you uh, so anyway stick with me and until we meet next time don't forget what they say oh yeah like and subscribe and do all that sort of stuff and of course taking the stuff